Hello to strategic partnerships. Again, we are talking about partnerships in different shapes and forms. First of all, what is the importance of strategic partnerships? What does it mean actually strategic partnerships before we even going into that? So, you know, any organization has a strategy, um, it has goals, it has a direction it's going to. And partnerships that are important on that level are essential to the well being of your organization. And these type of partnerships are essential to the business success in 85% of executives, in 85% of leaders, they feel that those kind of partnerships are driving the growth of their organizations. And that applies to all industries. Businesses all around the world are using partnerships to grow. That's why we are talking about this in more detail. And I believe actually that partnerships is the one key to your success. Partnerships in terms of organizational alliances and partnerships with your co-founders, with your team members, with the people you work with. Just look at it as a strategic partnership. It's a long-term agreement. It's a collaboration between two or several partners on a common mission. You're going into the same direction and that's why you should help support each other. Because we all want to save resources, we all want to be more efficient and we want to not walk our pathway alone. Let's do it together. Collaboration is the key. Shake hands, agree on something to be able to have a benefit, not only for the, the two partners or the, the, the group of partners, but in the end for everybody involved. We share resources. And you form your agreements based on those objectives, those goals that connect you. Now, we are in the topic of strategic partnerships, and I would like to introduce a new, uh, another typology of partnerships to you. So the first one is a horizontal uh, partnership. This is defined as a business, the businesses in the same areas, for example, even competitors, they agree to collaborate in a way that will improve their market position. So horizontal means people on the same level, organizations on the same level, they want to work together uh, to have a stronger position in the market. Very easy and clear. So both two vertical partnerships. That is if you maybe, you know, collaborate with your supplier or your distributors, um, it works along the value chain, the supply chain, for example, if you're a business with physical products and it allows you to reduce your overall risk. What's the next level now? An intersectional partnership. This would be different kind of organizations from different industries, from very different um, areas of life, 
agree to work together. I think these kind of partnerships are very, very uh, fruitful because you really benefit in a much you know, bigger way, being from very different uh, industries and um, yeah, different background and with different uh, experiences and expertises that come together. So there's a lot of potential and opportunity in working together in that way. The goal, of course, on the other side is always to have a better customer experience and to approach everything in a customer-centric way. Coming again to the joint venture. So you see in all the typologies that we have touched uh, until now, the joint venture is, uh, is one of the points. It's also a strategic partnership. We know that by now, two companies create its own legal entity. Equity partnerships, it could also be that um, growing together as organizations means that your partner acquires an equity stake in your own organization and the other way around to uh, solidify that partnership to really you make these, you know, depending on each other, uh, also visible in an economic form. So what kind of, uh, you know, concrete forms could these partnerships take? Um, why are you, partnering with someone else. So there is a lot of different options. Um, we touched that beforehand. It could be about developing a certain product or service together. It could be uh, based in the distribution channels that one of the partners has that you want to get access to. Um, it can be uh, the supply chain and you know nested in the logistics uh, of um, supplying you know, the product or service to the market. It could be in promotion, in, as in co-branding or marketing partnerships, or it could also be as a digital alliance. That's just a few of the examples that could uh, concretely define that partnership that you want to enter into. In the end, it's all about delivering your product and service to your customer in a better way. And um, this could now spark your ideas already, how you could do that for your product and service that you're working upon. I have an example here from an opinion poll that has been done by the IMD, where organizations have uh, reported from their experiences in regarding to success or failure. So people who had negative and positive experiences were you know, sharing um, the factors that they thought is, is uh, you know, responsible for those experiences. So you can see in the green part, uh, what was the reasons for success? Win-win um, for both sides, alignment, clear goals, value match, not anything new. And you can also see in the reasons for failure that it's about competition, competing agendas, value mismatch, objectives not aligned, uh, problem in communications, 
lack of trust and a win-lose situation. Looking at this cable here will make you think maybe, well, this is all very simple and clear um, and not surprising. Yes, it is. Um, but on the other hand, it doesn't make it easier for you to make sure um, that you have a win-win for both sides and that you are aligned and that you stay aligned and that your values actually really match. Not to even speak about clear communications that both sides and all the sides um, are happy with. So in any case, um, in a nutshell, we have to work with others. We have to know the skills. We have to clearly communicate and we have to use our strengths to our advantage. It doesn't matter what kind of partnership you're in, what's the legal framework around it. Um, this is the challenge we're up against. And this is also the opportunity that we have. The power of one, the one success factor. When I get asked, you know, what's that one factor that we need to take care of to make sure we are succeeding? I'm coming again as in many of the stops, to being able to share a common vision and the value base as the factor that makes partnerships successful. It is very clear, if there's no alignment in these points about your visions and values, it will not work. It's as simple as that. Thank you for listening. It's reflection time. Take your pen and pencils and um, write down what's missing maybe. Write down the points that you've been reminded uh, to come back to now. Write down the questions that you want to take into your next team discussion. See you on the other side.